Hello and welcome to My Little Marcus Garage. Today is a very important part of our Honda Shadow project because today we are starting painting with the paint gun, like proper paint gun. So as you can see Marcus is now mixing the delicious black paint and this is the first time we are testing this paint out, so also the new paint gun. Uh, so, you know, in case there is something wrong with it, we are definitely not going to start off with our Honda Shadow parts. So, what we will start off with are Marcus's Derby parts, because it's less valuable and also it needs to be painted. So, right now we've sanded this part and uh, the other part where that is somewhere. I think it's that one, yeah, maybe not, yeah, this one, there we go, this part and this part, and right now we're giving a nice mixy mixy to the uh, paint, and then we're going to start uh, setting up the paint gun, checking the pressure, stuff like that, uh, so I will bring you back when we've done that also, shit, the battery is getting low, so I'm not sure if we'll be able to record all of this, but we'll try. Let's go! Okie dokie, so the first two part pieces of the fairings from the derby have been painted. This is the first layer of paint, but I honestly think that it might be not necessary to add another one, because at least for now, paint is looking very sleek and the misperfections that you perhaps see, like, like right in the middle of the big fairing, uh, that's not paint's fault, that's just a, an actual damage mark to the, to the fairing. Um, unfortunately I will have to do like very short clips from this, at least today, uh, mostly because I am extremely low on battery. Uh, but we will be painting tomorrow as well, so I think the episode will still be uh, on a fair size. As you can see, the paint is looking absolutely glamorous in those nice clear spots. It's nice and shiny, and since this is lacquer, in theory, this should stay like it forever. Uh, so yeah, bring you back when we paint some more. So, uh, I'm going to show you how I paint this stuff. So first I set up my pressure to three bars, or 40... 40... Five PSI and then I gently start painting. First test on the cardboard works great and then nice and long movements along these that I'm painting. Change direction what's important is to keep a good eye on the pressure because it does tend to go up on this regulator and then just gently cover all the surface of paint also remember to oh, well remember to just keep a good distance with the nozzle in order to avoid overblow because the paint gun does have quite a lot of pressure in it. As you can see it's moving the fairing just from the pressure of the gun and that's because it's, a, it's quite a lot of pressure, it's surprisingly a lot. And right now it seems to be, uh, seems to be done. So um, this is how I do it. It's not super professional but it's a decent level because I've being taught by a, 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 like an actual painter. So um, now I just go ahead and paint the last fairing and then we are done with it. Welcome back. This is the next day. As you can see the weather is absolutely beautiful. We've got blue skies, lots of sun, uh, although it's not super warm now or yet. It's getting the, the spring weather is finally coming here. 
so what we are going to do now is um, start disassembling all the parts from the shadow that need to be painted and those parts are the rear fender front fender the tank and those tiny covers like one of two of those that you know the black thing over there so yeah that's what we are going to do now and in addition to that we're going to be putting the exhaust uh, on the derby because as you can remember from the last episode we've painted it and um, now it needs to warm up because it's hot paint so it needs heat to properly well dry so yeah let's get straight into it I will bring you back when we screwed those things apart because you've already seen how to do it so there's no need to show it twice right let's go two hours have passed we've been prepping those covers as you can see they are sanded now so they are ready for paint I used the last two hours on stripping the gas tank of all the stickers so it is now sticker free it was a royal pain in the arse to, to get them off because they've been on there for 20 years and they didn't really want to come off uh, but as you can see here we've got two last parts of the derby as well which need to be painted something that we did not do yesterday and uh, Basically now it's just a matter of prepping all the parts, uh, you know, just lining up them in a, on the cardboard and painting them. So I'll bring you back when we are ready for paint or something. As you can see we've started painting the covers. Look at that fender, look at that shine. This is before and this is after. I would call that a full success and uh, yes indeed a full success because uh, we did indeed check up on the derby covers that we painted over yesterday and they are still looking magnificent of course the paint does lose a bit of that metallic shine due to drying but it still looks very nice I can actually go ahead and show you so these are the covers that I painted just now these are the covers from yesterday. I think they still look fabulous, although they do have some spots, uh, but that's just damage on the plastic itself. It's not paint, so it really, I mean, it really looks wonderful. And today we did a really, or actually Marcus did a really, really good job on sanding these fenders, and holy moly, these look good. Well sanded, a good coat. And we are probably going to do two coats of uh, black paint and one coat of, uh, of uh, uh, clear coat. Uh, but we'll see, because honestly this paint is so thick that it might just need one coat of uh, black. But oh, this looks good. So almost all the parts are prepped now, so I'm just going to go ahead and paint the rest. Let's go! This is the final boss, the gas tank. And this is truly the final part of the Honda Shadow parts. That's it, it's the last thing that needs to be painted. As you can see over here, let's switch on the lights. There we go. All the other parts have been painted alongside with those derby parts over here. The both the fenders, the side covers, and the remaining thing is just the tank. This is going to be quite hard, and well, just plain and simple. This is the hardest part to paint because this needs to be done perfectly in order for the bike to look properly. So, as you can see, we've plugged uh, both the holes. Um, there is some rust on it but it's been sanded down so this should be not that big of a deal so final boss let's go
Okie dokie. As you just saw on the other camera, the tank is painted. Look over here. No marks after stickers. It's perfect. Although we will probably need a second layer for the tank because some uh, some water droplets droplets got in there. As you can see, that little thing is right there. Unfortunately, the paint is waterproof, so um, they got on top, not under the paint. But still, I do not like the look of that. But otherwise, I would say that this is a wonderfully painted tank. Seriously, it's uh, hasn't really been better ever. No rust spots, no rust whatsoever. It is looking great. So now, right now, what remains is just uh, cleaning up the paint gun. So we will go ahead and do that now. Yes. Alrighty. This is day three of the paint job. Although it has passed two days since we last saw each other. Uh, just because the weather dramatically got worse, which I can show you now. So this is two days after that beautiful, beautiful sunny day. And this is how it looks now. And yesterday it was even worse. So as you can imagine, it was very hard to, to do anything in deep snow like yesterday, because yesterday was minus degrees. But today is around four, four and a half, five degrees. Uh, although the snow is still here, it's quickly melting. And thus we decided to continue painting. So, right here, what you see now is basically everything is nice and dry after two days of drying in a warm, room. Uh, here are the fenders. As you can see they look pretty good but we still want to give them another coat of paint just to be sure that they will stay like this forever or for a long time. And here is the tank. As you can see it is looking pretty decent although you are still you can see in the light there are still a couple of marks here and there and thus uh, we will add a second layer of paint as well. So second layer on these three and then on the side covers which are usually you know less worn out uh, the paint looks fabulous and thus we will just apply the third or actually the second layer but that will be just clear coat so here will be two layers of paint one black one clear coat and here will be three layers of paint and these parts will get more worn out so two layers of black and one layer of clear coat so today we'll be applying the second layer of black paint and in two days time just to give it a nice you know time to dry we will apply clear coat and then we'll be done so with that said let's get straight into it okie dokie so the tank has been painted with the second layer, looking good. In addition to that, we've painted uh, the exhaust parts black as well, because um, those were destroyed by the uh, the brake oil, unfortunately, which we had a leakage of. And uh, here we put a clear coat of paint uh, on the side covers to make them nice and shiny. And in addition to that, we've put the second coat of paint on these two and in addition to that we decided to paint the uh, the brake and clutch levers I'm gonna turn a bit here so you can see them a bit better so they are nice and silver now both in the same color which is nice because they were dirty and worn out before so they'll be looking good as well and now uh, what we need to do, or want to do, is uh, quite simple, and that is just to uh, start assembling the derby. So that should be fun, I think. 
And uh, thus, I'm going to say that we will do that just now. Let's go! As you can see, we fully assembled all of the derby parts. And it is looking pretty alright. So, right now, it needs to be washed. Because it's, uh, it's been in the garage for a while and, uh, well, it's got some gunk all over it. So, it's going to get a proper wash. So, as you can see, the engine's running fine. And the covers, they are looking very nice. Uh, it's pretty all right. I would say that's a paint job well done. Yeah. Welcome back. It is now evening, as you can see, we've um, went for a little trip with a derby and the BMW and did a photo shoot on the derby, uh, and that's because we are selling it. So um, in the link down below, we'll have, um, we'll have we'll have it for sale. So it's a decent price, as you saw, the parts have been properly painted and uh, the bike is in generally pretty all right condition, so um, anyone who wants to buy it, go ahead. Uh, also, as you saw, second layer is on the tank, uh, and we've added second layers to those covers over there, because we found out that the clear coat that we bought is not working on with this paint, it's, uh, it's reacting, so we need to take that off and paint them with another coat. So, but this still should give us a quite decent amount of uh, good, thick, um, wonderful looking paint. Uh, in addition to that, we've painted those parts over there. Ooh, I've got low battery. Not cool. Um, and now Marcus is cleaning the paint gun. So, with that and the battery dying, I would like to just say, remember to give us a like subscribe, maybe comment, and as always, keep on riding!